Alright guys, I have another video here for you today and this is going to be on the LG G2 and we're going to show you guys how to install Saijin Mod ROM on this device. Um, so your prerequisites are for this are for you're going to have to have a custom recovery installed like Clockwork Mod Recovery or Team Win Recovery Project. Also it's going to have to include the Loki hack in the recovery. So that's going to need to be there. And uh, root access is optional, but it helps you get into recovery for sure if you have it. Um, let me just show you what I'm working with here so everybody's on the same page. We're going to go into general, about phone, software, and just show you this is the AT&T variant of the LG G2. And right there is my build number 39B and it's Android version 4.2.2 and this is what basically comes stock on this device when you get it. Um, things may change if there's different builds and different uh, updates that have happened to this device but as of right now this is how this is going to work. So I went ahead and downloaded the ROM and the Google applications to my internal card and I should be able to install it from there from recovery. So I'm going to go ahead and boot into recovery I just use this because it makes it really easy to boot into recovery. That's Goo Manager and it just has a reboot to recovery feature built into it. And just skip some steps for me instead of doing it the manual way on this device which is a little bit difficult. So uh, first thing we're going to do is go ahead to backups and I'm going to create an Android backup uh, just because it's a safety thing you want to do just in case something goes wrong or you have a bad ROM installed. So we're going to let this backup go and we'll come back to it as soon as it's done. Okay, so our back is completed. We're gonna go ahead and go back, and back out of the screen, get back to your main screen here in Team Win Recovery Project. And I'm gonna go ahead and just look at something here. I think it's in settings. And we're gonna go ahead and check that box right there. Um, something that fixes something when you're wiping files out. All right, so we've got this set up. Um, we're going to go ahead and go to wipes and we're just going to go across that wipes out and does a factory reset wipes devic wipes cache all that stuff by doing that one little step right there then we're going to go to installs and installs here we're going to go to uh, downloads which is where I've downloaded the files and there you can see CM 10.2 and the Google applications so we're going to click the ROM it's listed add a zip click the Google applications 2 of 10 is what's listed there and then slide across and it's going to do the install of the ROM. So the install here is probably going to take, it should be fairly quick I would think honestly. Uh, it's not a real big file and this is a pretty good uh, phone fast processor and all that. So you're probably about 2 or 3 minutes and it'll be done and we'll come back to it. Alright so there we go that install has uh, completed. Um, so just want to point out this is basically the same exact process you're going to use on installing almost any ROM. It's pretty much the same. I'm just showing you on Saige and Mod since it's a real popular ROM and how this functions. But otherwise, I mean, follow the thread directions wherever you're downloading the ROM from. I'll give you a link to this ROM, but it's it's pretty much the exact same process. So from here we can we can either go back to home or we could have just done reboot right there. So we'll reboot reboot system. And we should boot up here in Saijin Mod and see the boot animation. First boot up can take up to 10 minutes, so give it plenty of time. Shouldn't take that long, but it can. Um, so there you go, there is the Saijin Mod boot animation. We'll let this load. I'm going to jump through some settings and show you guys the ROM. Okay, here you go. We fully booted up. I went through quick, some very quick um, in, you know, setup stuff, and we're in uh, Saijin Mod. So here you go, you can see uh, home screens, top bar, pull down, torch built in right there, a whole bunch of goodies. We can go into settings and have all the cool uh, personalization, customization stuff right here in the top section. And you can see that the super user is included down there for root access and I'm just going to show you what we got here. So this is Android 4.3.1, so that's an upgrade from the stock system, which is uh, super slick. And you can see here you're on Saijin Mod version 10.2, and this is the nightly build for this uh, device. 
So there you go. That's uh, it. That's how to install a custom ROM. I'm just show you some of the stuff in here. These are all the applications that comes with it when you install it with the Google applications and the ROM. Pretty basic stuff there. And uh, sweet, simple, awesome Saijin mod on the LG G2. That's it, guys. Hope you guys like this video. As always, Root Junkie out.